Hello, I'm Sarah, a speech and language therapy assistant that works in the Early Years Communication and Language Development Service here in Bolton. So, in this video, I aim to explain the 10 second rule, which is a strategy used to allow your child a chance to respond to the comments or the questions that you may ask them. So when asking your child a question or making a comment, allow them 10 seconds to respond. So 10 seconds may seem like a long time, but it, there are many different processes that your child has to go through in order to be able to respond to you. So. Firstly, they have to listen to your instructions or your questions. They have to think about what, how they're going to respond and the words that they need to find to be able to say it back to you. And then they need to be able to act on what you've actually said. So, for example, if you're looking at a book with your child, you may want to ask them a question like, where's the snake? So. As an adult, we do expect our children to respond to us within a few seconds of us asking the question, or if they don't respond, then we find ourselves asking the same question again. Um, but this can lead your child to feel frustrated because they've not been given sufficient enough time to think about how they're going to respond. So I'm going to demonstrate now how long 10 seconds feels in reality by showing you on my um, timer just how long you have to stay silent for without asking anything else. So. So as you can see, that is quite a long period of time and this is sufficient enough for your children to, to process what they need to say. If you find that your child doesn't respond, then you would comment to give them them words or to show them how to, where the snake is. So for example, you would say, <gasps> There's the snake, snake, snake in grass. So you're commenting and giving them the words because it could be that they don't know what a snake looks like so they don't know how to find it or they might not have the words to be able to say there or they don't know how to point because they, they've never been asked that question before. So sometimes it is just really important to think about the questions that you're asking, whether it's appropriate, and whether they understand, and if not, then you offer the comments to go with the, so you're answering your own question in effect, but this will really help your children to succeed.